Hello there ladies and gentlemen, how are you all doing today? And today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get ray tracing working on your very own Minecraft survival world. So to get started, if you want to be able to use ray tracing in your own survival world, you need to get a RTX PBR resource pack or a physically based rendering resource pack. Some of these packs are provided by NVIDIA. However, some other people have also created their own packs. And this is what I'm going to show you how to do is how you can download these packs, get them onto your Minecraft world so that you can then start playing with them on your very own survival world. Now, just a quick guide on how some of these packs are made and why it's taking so long to arrive is the new PBR system uses both the base color and opacity map provided by Minecraft. And then it also has five additional maps. These are different maps that allow ray tracing to figure out and calculate how the light is going to bounce off of the different textures in Minecraft. You have a metallic map, you have an emissive map, you have a roughness map, you have a normal map, and you have a height map. All of these maps do different things, and I suppose just to briefly go over what each one does, the metallic map determines how metallic a pixel is in your texture. Something that's fully metallic is going to be fully reflective, for example. An emissive map shows you how much a pixel in your texture is going to glow. So for example, you've got glowstone, you've got sea lanterns and torches. You have a roughness map, which tells you how rough a pixel is on your texture. You have a normal map, which is going to tell you how raised the pixel is in your texture. This is going to be for higher resolution texture packs. An easier option is going to be a height map, which will simply tell you how high or low a pixel is. It gives it depth on the actual block itself. Now, NVIDIA has been kind enough to provide some of their own resource packs. They've got the HD Decorative Resource Pack and the HD Foundational Resource Pack. Um, but we're not going to be using these packs because they're actually incomplete packs that don't have all of the maps set up for all of the textures. This is probably the one that I enjoyed the most. It is the Vanilla RTX by, and I'm going to botch his name, it's by Nikonator. I'll provide a link in the description down below as well if you'd like to use this pack. You can see over here he's given a demonstration of the way that he's done some of these 3D textures as well with the height maps, the way that some of these textures glow with the emissive maps. He's done a really, really good job and I absolutely loved it. Look at how the iron reflects across the lava as well, again with that metallic map. So he's really put a lot of effort into it. He's also given you some options for additional add-ons. For example, if you prefer the rougher look of the 3D stone, he's given you option for smooth quartz and also some options for clear glass. He might have some more options because he's also updating this very regularly. If you come down to the bottom over here as well, you'll see here are all the downloads available. If you choose the one that you prefer the most, click on download, and that should show up over here at the bottom over here for you. Now let me show you. When you click on this to open it up, it's gonna show up in the game, it's gonna say import started, and for me it says failed to import because I already have the a resource pack downloaded onto my Minecraft. But for you, it should just say successfully imported the pack and then it'll show up for you in your resource packs. Once that's been imported into your game, I highly recommend you just restart your game very quickly so that you can ensure that everything's been put in there properly. And now you can actually create your new world. So we can go here, create a new world. We can say create new world. We come over here to our resource packs. We click on my packs. And then here's the one that we just downloaded, Vanilla RTX version 2.5. You might have a more up-to-date version if you're watching this in the future. Just press activate. And if you want to have the 3D stone add-on as well, just activate that too. And here you can now see we have both of them active in our world. Let's click create our world. And here we go, guys. We have Minecraft ray tracing working on our very own survival world. If it's still not working for you, by the way, just very quickly go into your settings. Click on video down over here, scroll right the way down to the very bottom and ensure that upscaling and ray tracing is turned on. I hope I'm not too late in saying this as well, but you need to ensure that you have a ray tracing enabled GPU as well. That means you need to have an RTX 2060 or later in order to actually use ray tracing in Minecraft. Now this is just one of the packs that I tried out. I'm gonna put some links in the description for other packs that I also tried out and was quite impressed by as well. So feel free to try any of them that you like. They're all going to be downloaded and installed in the exact same way possible. There's one more thing that I do want to show you and let me go on to that now. Okay, the last thing that I wanna show you guys is if you download a ray tracing pack and it's not a .mc pack as you can see over there, but rather a .zip pack instead, all you want to do is rename it and instead of naming it .zip, rename it as .mc pack. Are you sure you want to change it? Say yes and now 
double click on it, Minecraft will open up again and it will import for us as you can see. Again, mine failed to import because I already have the pack but for you it will simply import and successfully import. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it was really helpful for all of you as well. If you have any other questions for me, please let me know down in the comments. I'll be more than happy to respond and reply to everyone and help ensure that you can get ray tracing working on your own survival world. This has been Rexus, guys. I'll see you later. I'm at.